What do you think the biggest misconceptions that a person who's afraid to automate, what does that look like? So the traditional um, automation within a warehouse has had a long ROI horizon, and we've all got short-term visibility in what's going to happen tomorrow or what's going to happen next season. And our, investment, uh, our investments really have to be um, higher in the traditional um, traditional model. Uh, with AMRs, what we're seeing is people are able to scale with what they want to use today and add um, through basic future flexibility the, the AMR model where they can put in, if they need 50 robots today and their, their business model up or plan is to invest and scale to 200 uh, over the next three years, they don't have to buy 200 today. They can buy uh, they can make that short-term investment. So it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to scale with getting more robots than is trying to hire 25 more people really quickly. Right. 